essentially Ellington is the most prestigious high school jazz competition like in existence, I think in the world and definitely in the United States. My students kept coming across the essentially Ellington videos from previous years and starting to see these young people uh, playing this music at such a high level and they wanted to represent. No one in New York City had made the finals in over a decade. They were looking at that and they were like, this is our music from our culture and our heritage here. We're in New York City and we should be claiming that heritage and we should be representing. They would stay after school, Tuesdays, Fridays, whenever they'd come early at lunch and we would just play the tunes and play the tunes and play the tunes. I was lucky enough to be brought on with Jazz and Powers at the moment that my jazz program was really, really starting to get good and at the moment where I needed support as their band director. Without Jazz and Powers support, we wouldn't be able to bring in artists like this. I mean, we're a Title I school and the funding for outside artists like this, it just isn't there. They kept it kind of hush-hush. We were just lucky enough to be rehearsing that day. Can you imagine being in there with your band in the evening and then them not getting in? It's soul crushing. I mean, my heart was pounding. And then... <laughs> when Carlos said our name, I had an out-of-body experience. It was silence and then eruption and then chaos. What a moment of joy. I'm gonna take that with me for the rest of my life, the way it felt in that room that night. How much joy that there was that they actually made it that far.